Welcome to a new video. We will explain today what resistance is. And what are the factors that affect the resistance value by simulation. What is resistance? Resistance is a measure of the opposition to current flow in an electrical circuit. Meaning that if I had a material, this material could be copper or aluminum. Or any type of material, and this material passes through an electric current. Resistance is a measure of the opposition to the passage of electric current through this material. Okay, how do I calculate this resistance? The resistance is calculated from this formula. It is equal to the value of the resistivity multiplied by the length of the material. Divided by the cross-sectional area of the material. What is resistivity? It is a fixed number that varies according to the type of material. According to this table, it has different values according to the type of material used. There is a special value for copper, another for aluminum, and so on. And based on the value of the resistivity, we choose the appropriate material as required. Let us see the effect of the resistivity on the resistance value. If we increase the value of the resistivity, we will notice that the value of the resistance increases. As the value of the resistivity decreases, the value of the resistance decreases. The relationship between resistivity and resistance remains. It is a proportional relationship. Let's see the relationship of length with resistance. If we increase the length, the value of the resistance increases. And if we decrease the length, the resistance value will decrease. I mean, if I have an application, I want to reduce the value of the resistance in order to increase the value of the current passing through the circuit, according to what we explained in the simulation of Ohm's law. It turns out that the relationship between current and resistance is an inverse relationship. It means that whatever increases the resistance value, the current will decrease. Therefore, if I wanted to increase the current, I would reduce the value of the resistance by decreasing the length of the material. We test the relationship of cross-sectional area with resistance. We will notice that the more we increase the cross-sectional area, the value of the resistance decreases. As the cross-sectional area decreases, the resistance value increases. In other words, if we want to reduce the value of the resistance, we will increase the value of the cross-sectional area of the material. Now we have reviewed the factors that affect the value of electrical resistance. By simulating a process, and the law that we explained in the video is one of the important laws that helps you understand electrical principles to choose the appropriate electrical cables and conductors. With this, we have reached the end of the video and in the end we hope to support the channel by liking the video, sharing and subscribing to the channel.